so small, I don't know where to put it on the camera to make it look good. Show me Bob's. Show me Bob's and Keys. This is bobkeys.com. We are working with them to bring you an additional 25% off on products like Windows 10 Pro. Use coupon code TS25 and you're going to save 25% off the already good price of 1808, bringing it down by another four and a half dollars. You can save money on Windows 10 Home and also 25% off as well with Office 2019. Now, once you get your key, it'll appear in your account. Just copy that, hit start and type activation and activation settings will come up. Click on change product key and then paste your product key here. Or if it's that's not there, it may just say add product key or update product key if you have not already activated. Just paste it in there and then you will fully be able to use Windows 10. Thanks to bobkeys.com. And now to our regularly scheduled program. Another NVMe Gen 3 by 4 M.2 from Lexar. This is the NM700, a one terabyte M.2. It comes in flavors of 256 and 512 and also one terabyte. And it is another Fizen-based Gen 3 by 4 M.2. And as far as the memory on this, the NAND flash memory, they didn't give me a 100% definite manufacturer. It's subject to change here and there, but they um, are at least saying that it'll stay the same or get better when it comes to performance. So let's go through the specs and then I'll talk about where this stacks up and just see if it's going to be a good value compared to some of the other brands out there. And, and you know, it does use good quality parts, but there are a lot of options right now. So first off, let's look at the specs and then we'll do the tests. They all advertise a read of 3,500 megabytes per second. Now the right, if you're going for the 256, is only 1,200. And then if you bump up to the 512, it's 2000 and it stays 2000 with the one terabyte. So the 512 and the one terabyte are really the, the good ones. But if you just need something faster and you want to be able to take advantage of that 3500 megabyte read, you'll be okay with the little one if that's all you need. They advertise a lot of shock resistant stuff and whatever, you know, throw these things around. There's no moving parts. That's something if you're moving over from a spinning hard drive from the days of yore, then you're not going to worry about that at all with this. But they advertised it kind of heavily how durable it is. Okay, sure, it's durable. It's, yeah, it's as durable as just about every other M.2 on the market out there. The form factor on this is pretty standard these days, 2280. And as you can see here on their marketing page, um, I mean, there's not a lot of really specific stuff when it comes to marketing other than just like, oh my God, it's built to last. It's efficient. Woo. So, of course, all those things are true, but they're also true for a lot of the competition. And what's really going to matter is how this compares to the competition for about the same price, you know, see what we can we can do. Uh, last thing I want to mention is this does uh, come with a five-year warranty and they estimate about 1.5 million hours of operation. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to compare this one against the other Lexar that I looked at, the NM610. And then we'll also talk about a couple of drives that I don't have uh, right now. I don't have um, any of the Samsung Evo drives. Well, not the large ones. I've only got the small ones. And that's, you know, 256 is not going to be comparable to this. So we can talk about you know, we know what the performance of those is like because they're really popular. So we can talk about it. All right. So the NM600 is on the left and the NM700 is on the right. And as you can see there, we've got a substantially faster read speed. And you're going to see that across all these drives. So that's the main thing. Just general use is going to feel snappier. And if you look around, also the randoms are a little bit higher. Take a look at the access time. It's a little more on the read, which is interesting, but but quite a bit of faster access time on the right there. Addo Disk Benchmark tests compressed data. Not fully indicative of real world, but it's a good baseline. Right in the middle there though, you know, like that's those for the larger file sizes, but right in the middle there, it did um, hit the 2.9. Um, I still would have liked to see it breach 3000 megabytes a second, but it's still gonna feel really fast and really uh, snappy. And I also wanna note that it maintains this speed throughout a lot of the different uh, sizes here. And then over here, you can see the NM600 again. All right, let's take a look at Crystal uh, Disk Mark. And again, same thing you would expect except the uh, the read speed when you look at it on the NM600 is a lot better. So interesting how we're getting a lot of different results with different tests, but uh, consistently this drive is going to be performant. And when you compare them in disk mark, you can see it's going to be a nice jump up in speed. And then when it comes to full load temperature, I tested it after a nice long writing session. And you can see here that uh, it does get a little bit warmer than, in, than the NM600, but it is also a little bit more performant and it's still well within operating spec. All right, so I started the video off by saying another M.2 NVMe Gen 3x4 with very similar specs, same Fizen controller. I mean, these things you can go 
from one brand to the next and they're all very similar so why would you pick a Lexar over say a Samsung or a Plex store or a Corsair or you know a Micron uh, will make Micron makes a lot of them or a Mushkin or you know something like that when there are so many out there and the truth is you should probably just get the one that has the best warranty the best specs um, and the best reviews but also the best price because since they're so similar uh, you know when comparing this directly to the well-reviewed and um, just really really good selling Samsung 970 Pro that drive is a little bit faster and about the same price so um, I mean this one may have a little better warranty here and there so that's something to consider but they're gonna be very similar just straight down the line so if this is on sale for less than that drive then I would go with this one uh, if this is on sale for less than the Patriot or something like that well I'd obviously go with that one because it's faster than the Patriot P300 that I tested but you know there's just a lot of drives out there it's a really good time to be getting an M.2 uh, MVME drive that's I, there's, I keep saying drive because it's driven into my head but there's no drive and there's no moving parts so it's kind of stupid to call these drives let's just call them flash memory modules that's what they are so having said that it is completely solid good price get it i mean i've got one i'm going to use it it's going to be great these things are so handy when it comes to productivity gaming video editing uh well i say gaming i mean game development so yeah i'll use it for that but all in all it's good but the bottom line whether or not you should get it is going to be the price compared to the competition so there you have it all right grab a shirt why don't you We've got plenty over at EpicPants.com and these mice. This mice will make you a better person. And I won't guarantee it, but you should buy it anyway. EpicPants.com. I'll see you guys in the comments. They all advertise a read after... <laughs>